Hi right, everyone, well, welcome Ron here from the London Craftsman channel. This one's a little bit different. I'm jumping on, I'm sanding my kitchen table up. Um, I bought this table here from eBay. Yeah, you're probably going to say to me, why didn't you just make one yourself considering you're a joiner, you're a woodworker. Time is the issue and I just thought it's quicker and easier just to buy one ready made. And here it is. It's a lovely pine table, I believe. It's a nice dense grain. Not sure why it's gone black on the edge. I think it was a lacquer or an oil back in the day. Um, the guy told me that um, this table was made in the 60s. EM Golf Overstrand. So apparently that was a good joinery company back in the day. And this is how it looks. But yeah, it's marking easy. I don't want to have to fuss over it. I was thinking, do I keep it like that and just let it get some wear and tear? But it's just marking far too easy. Even denting, like you just put something on it, dent. So the finish on it right now is pretty awful. So I'm only concentrating on the top today. I've got an orbital sander, six inch. It's a Makita BO6030. Um, we've just got a little roller that I found lying around. And I'm using this. Um, lacquer that I've had lying around too. Don't really care if it's meant for houses or not. It's a lacquer. It's going to protect my table. 10% sheen, water-based. So it's not a two-part. But I'm hoping to get two coats on this and it's going to give it a little bit of life for a few years at least. Blitz the top with some P240. These trend discs. Give it a sand back. Hopefully we can get some of these dents out because yeah, there are a few little dents here or there. And see if we can get these marks out and then get the finish on top. Put one coat on, we're going to let it dry, sand it back and another, maybe even three coats to be honest, see how it goes. Before I start, if you do like our channel, like our content, feel free to subscribe. We're nearly at 43,000 now. So there we are, try to set up as best as possible. I'm going to put a fresh pad on, P240 and hopefully... That'll do the trick and get any deep dents out. There we go. So it's looking quite nice. Change the colour, you could just see what the oil was doing, how how dark it was making it. Part of me is saying do the edges also. But I just don't have the time, got too much to do, got to sort the workshop out, got lots of chores to do. It is kicking up a bit of dust, but oh well. As I imagined, the court is doing. It's building up high spot, so we'll be going for a few pads today. We've come done with that. Ugh, made a right mess in here. So can you remember before it was really dark? But we've got all those dents out. It was quite soft, this table. Being pine or some form of pine. Douglas fir, not too sure. Bought out the grain really nicely. Happy about that. It's a shame I can't keep it this light. I would like it this light, but then again, it wouldn't match the legs. I'm going to dust that off now. I'm going to give it a hoover. Um, it's something I've used before. It's 10% sheen. I didn't want it too shiny, so it's quite handy to have this. I do have a two-part as well, um, and I am going to use it because my floor is... And the lacquer's coming off my floor, so that's another job coming in a couple of weeks. But I'm using the two-part stuff for that. I'm only going to use this. Not as heavy duty, but I'm sure it'll do fine. So give it a good old shake, pour some in, get my first coat on. Um, I was hoping to use a gloss roller, but I just don't have any. Let's see what colour it turns out when we put it on. Um, it's going to soak it in like a sponge on the first coat, because it's a brand new wood again. So we're just going to apply that as evenly as we can. I'm just trying not to miss any bits. First coat is always going to use more. As you can see, I've not put much in the tray. There we go. So that's what I'm going to do. Set up the tripod and um, yeah, we'll crack on and finish the rest of it. Color of the grain coming out really nice. So let's go ahead and finish that off. So 
So here we go, the first coat is all done. And as you can see, it's near enough flawless for a first coat, better than I expected. I thought it was gonna soak in and um, look all patchy, but it looks like it's been built up already, like it's had a couple of coats. Anyway, um, yeah, no marks anymore. Get the sander going once more, just a light 30 second sand, nothing huge. Been drying for about an hour and a half, gonna go for that sand, dust it down, second coat, and then we'll see how that one comes out. Okay, I'm using a used pad, okay? I don't wanna to go too heavy um, with a brand new pad, so it's probably a little bit smoother than a 240 now. So bring that speed down to number three. So we need to get the high spots off, right? That's all it is. Not to sand it back. Any of the roller marks that are on there, it's going to level those off. Lovely and smooth. No obvious high spots, bit of dust on there, so got to hoover that back once more. I've just been using my shark hoover. Don't want to scratch it. Yeah, it's time for the second coat. This was for a professional job. I'd spend a lot more time. I'd get a tack rag, tack rag it off. For my own table, I'm really not that bothered. There's any little bits of dust here and there. Wow, it's going so much further now. I need to do this quite quickly now because um, I'm running out of light and I kind of need to see in the light what I've done. If I start from the other side, I'd see, but I'm not sure if you can see in the camera um, what I've already done, but I can't. Right, so if I was using a gloss roller, I'd get a much smoother finish and result, I'm sure. This is going to be a bit sort of orange peely just because I'm using a rag roller. So there we go, that's the second coat done. Once it dries, I'm going to assess it then to see what it looks like, whether I should put another one on or not. Part of me is saying I should, just to make it that little bit more tougher, but another part of me is saying it looks tough enough and uh, it should be fine. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I have decided to do it once more. I'm going to just give it one quick blitz once again, another coat, and then I'm going to show you the end result. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> So there we go, three coats in the end. Managed to do three coats, and I think I'll be thankful for that in the future. Um, for the sake of 10, 15 more minutes, it was worth it. But overall, the quality is not too bad considering I did, with the, did it with the roller. Um, it's tough as nails, it really is solid. No marks whatsoever. It's absolutely solid as rock now. So I'm happy that I could just do anything to this table and it won't mark it. Let's get all these placemats out of the way. So this is what it looks from the light. So we got a few roller marks, but I don't care at all. I could have taken my time on the last coat. I did rush the last coat a little bit, but I was just happy that I've got a nice solid table that I could just do anything to spill. Um, stuff on, let the kids throw paint on it and I can just wipe it up after. Yeah, really happy. Happy with the way it turned out. Really nice. Hopefully this will give me a good 5-10 years of usage without having to redo it again. And um, yeah, another job done. All I need to do now is the floor. As you can see with the kids been messing around on the little scooter when they were young. It's churned up the lacquer on the top. So it's time to sand this back. This floor has been down for about 12 years. Hope you enjoy, guys. Take it easy. Ciao for now.